Hi, so today we're going to talk about how to create custom particles on After Effects. So right here with me, I have one of my Valentine's overlay background with some hot particles coming up from them from it. So we're going to recreate the hot particles very easily on After Effects. So I have here with me two shape layers, a hot stroke and a hot field. They are made in Adobe Illustrator and important After Effects. But for this case, you can have a PNG or you know you can create the shapes locally in After Effects for this to work. Right, so let's first create a new solid and let's call it Particle Wall. And then let's put in the effect Particle Wall in it. So right, immediately by default, you see that the default particle is line. So under the particle property, you will see that the particle type is line. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down. And for this scenario, we're going to use texture square. Right, so there's no particles, there's nothing. Why? Because for texture properties, we need to have a source. And in this case, our source will either be our hard field or our hard stroke. So under the texture layer, you can select your PNG or your shape layer. For my case, I'm going to select hard field. And now you see look, this very small particles that, well, it's in the form of a hard shape, which means you're correct if you see the shape that you want. But of course, the size is too small. What we're going to do is go to the buff size and the depth size. All we have to do is just adjust it to the way you want it. So for this case, I'm just going to set it to 1 for both size. And now I'm just going to set the buff color to white and the depth color to a very saturated pink. Right. And that's all. <laughs> that's all. That's all you need to create a customized particle. So that means in this case, you can create like leaf, sakura petals, or, you know, different customized shape that suit your design for your clients. Uh, let me just do some adjustments to my physics and producer and so we can you know finish this particle so all i'm going to do is expand my radius x radius y i'm going to change my longevity to five seconds my birth rate to 0 0.1 and just push the timeline a bit forward to three seconds and then afterwards i'm going to go to my particles i'm going to set it to direction axis velocity at zero gravity because I want the particles to go upwards means I have to introduce a negative value so in this case it will be negative 0.005 and that is actually all <laughs> there we go very simple so there we have it a customized particle system where all you need to do is just fit around with all the other properties and you should be able to get what you want uh, the ideas are limitless. You can test out only other settings such as textured quad polygon, textured square, textured faded this, textured tripolygon. I'm not going to explain this because that is going to be your homework to figure out what they are. You can just try using the same particles and figure out what's happening to them. <laughs> so yeah, see you again. Bye bye.